I have an idea. It's not really the best idea in the whole world, not groundbreaking or anything, but it's an idea nonetheless, and it might prove to be helpful and maybe something that would uh, benefit you all as well. Now, if you have central air, you know it's awesome, but you also probably know that the level that your thermostat's in, mine's on the, the ground level, is pretty much the only area that's set at the temperature you want. Like if if I set my house to 68, my ground level is 68. The basement's always colder, which is nice. I do like I do like it a bit colder, but upstairs where you sleep, it's always hotter. And if you want it to be cooler upstairs, you always have to set the AC even lower, uh, which is kind of a waste because nobody's downstairs to enjoy that nice cool air. What I've done in the past and currently is I take this old fan, this old Holmes fan that I've had forever, and I kind of pointed up the, the stairwell. And the idea is that I'm thinking that the fan blowing air up the stairwell to take some of that cool air from downstairs and blow it upstairs and make the upstairs cooler. I think it works. I mean, I've never measured the temperature upstairs, but I, in my head it's cooler, so I, I sleep better. But then I was thinking if I get this old Holmes fan to just project air a bit further, it should be even better. Now my first thought, of course, was let's replace the fan blades. They're, they're probably not that good, right? But you know, that doesn't really fit on my printer all that well. I'd have to cut it up, which is doable, but then I got to thinking, Remember this thing? If not, Noctua had long said that they were going to create like a, a desk fan that they were going to produce. It was always on their like future products and it never really came to fruition. I don't even think it's on there. Uh, I don't think it's even on the list anymore. But we, we looked at the pictures of it from some of the press stuff and created it. And I remember noticing way back in that video that this thing, when put on the A12X25, projects air quite a bit further. It does a pretty good job. And I was like, well, if we make this, but larger to fit on this fan, should, should do the same thing, right? Now designing the uh, shroud, I guess you could call it, was pretty easy, I already have the design. I just had to scale it up. And as you know, um, that was too big to fit on my X1C, so I had to cut it into pieces. And originally I wanted it to be all brown, so it kind of looked like a Noctua inspired thing, but then I printed one wrong, and then I dropped one and broke it. So now it's brown and yellow, mostly mostly yellow. So getting this back into a circle is probably going to be the toughest part of this whole idea. I did swap out the one that was partially yellow for this brown one that I dropped. I did, I just glued it back together. Should look better, more symmetrical. Now these are the clips I'm going to use to hold this shroud onto the frame and to assemble it I decided a modified version that I can place on each joint to hold it together should make the, the glue up a little easier. I guess we'll see. That went on pretty good. It's not too bad. So having this thing face down is actually quite helpful. It's very flat on the front face, so when it's all sitting here, it sits very nicely and balanced, and it makes all the edges much easier to align. And you're gonna notice that even once I get everything nice and tight here, I'm still gonna have some gaps to deal with. To glue it together, I'm going to use Weld on 4. I've used Weld on 4 on PLA in the past and it works really good for whatever reason. Weld on 4 is really made for acrylic, but it works good for PLA. This is all printed out of Voxel PLA Plus, but it should glue up just as good as regular PLA. And then to seal these gaps that will be left behind, I just have a cheapo 3D printing pen that I'll run around each seam and it should make it airtight enough to function as a fan shroud. And there you go, it's back to being a circle. It actually glued up pretty easily. The, the little pen thing is kind of a pain to use, but it did its job. I should see if it fits on that fan. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> it actually holds on there pretty good. I, I did get a little overzealous with my clearancing uh, between the this bottom part here and the, the, the hub of the fan. So it, it's just barely touching. So I gotta, I gotta solve that riddle real quick. And then we'll see if I made it better. Yeah, so I put a spacer behind the finger guard to give it a little more clearance. But for the time being, it's set back to how it normally comes out of the box. And I have this tape measure because I can't find my laser tape measure. And we're going to measure how fast the wind speed is back by this wall. So I'm about 10 foot away from the fan. And using this anemometer, I see a wind speed of somewhere between 250 and 300, I'd say. And with my Noctua inspired shroud, I see, I would say between 350 and 400, which is a, that is an improvement, I guess. Interesting. I mean, I guess it's, I guess that's it. It worked. It worked way better than I 
originally thought. It went together way easier than I imagined it did too. And at 10 feet across the room, it did produce a wind speed faster than it did with just the stock finger guard on it. It holds on there relatively well. The, uh, the tilt function struggles a little bit with the extra weight. So there's that. Um, but after I ran, you know, after I seen on the endometer that it produced a higher wind speed at 10 feet than it did with just the stock cage on it, I did put it over on my stairs, aimed it up them, kind of exactly how it's set up upstairs. The stairs are exactly the same, same length. And I ran some smoke through it and it did produce a tighter, quicker looking flow than it did with just the stock cage on it. Does that mean I'm gonna use this all the time? I, I don't think so. I mean, it stays up upright like it needs to to blow up the stairs. But the only problem being that it's, it's a bit top heavy now, as you can imagine. And I imagine as soon as I set this upstairs, turn it on, my kids are gonna push it over. The, the shroud will fall off and then you're just got, you, then you just got blades spinning all the way around, which is not good for, for children. It doesn't do that much better to warrant the extra annoyance of having it like this. But it did work and it was fun to make. We made it exactly as we did the tiny little dock, knock to a desk fan. It operated in the same way except for now it's on a 16 inch stand fan. So if you have any ideas for future videos, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.